telling you like, yo, you don't help me, you don't do nothing, I do everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, you do? Really? But because I don't do it your way, it's mm-hmm. a problem. Mm-hmm. Right. But now when the shoe was on the other foot, like mm-hmm. there were times where I did lose my job. Um, because I was going through different transitions when I got out the military and um, when I was going to school mm-hmm. and just trying to find work, it was rough. But I still had money coming in, so it wasn't like it wasn't nothing coming in on my right. end. Okay. It wasn't like I was just being a lazy bum, which right. wasn't the case. Like I'm taking care of the kids, taking them to school, I'm cleaning the house or whatever. I'm going home doing homework at night. But so like maybe one night or whatever, I might get tired and I'm like. I don't have dinner ready for her when she coming home from work. She gonna basically almost cuss me out. But when, Sorry. but when you were at home working, and I mean when you weren't working, and I was at there working, I'm working like sixteen hour days, and you didn't do something. You're like, baby, I'm sorry, I didn't do this. I'm like, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even gonna trip. You tired? I understand. But when I did it. Why my food not ready? You been food all day. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I'm like, word. So you know, no. I let you have your moments. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. so like, I just got so sick and tired because like for six years nothing's changing, and I'm like, yo, I'm so tired of this. She's not listening to me. And so long. she it she thought I was playing. So she was like, well, the only way that she would leave me was if I cheated on her. And so oh, I'm working at home. Um, what um, was I working? Um, Hold up, you cheated on purpose? Yeah, he That's sure did. That's the only way she said she would leave Oh my yeah, God. Do Just don't do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying yeah. it was. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Okay, at okay. that time frame. But, yeah. you know, but like I said, she said that was the only way she would leave me. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to show you bad teaching. And so I'm working, I forget, I was working at, um, I you working too. This one place, so it was basically uh-huh. like ACS. working at ACS. Mm-hmm. And so, we might know about ACS, it's like, mm-hmm. it's dangerous. Yeah. It's dangerous. It yeah. is. Yeah. That's and so, it was, yeah. and so, you know, <laughs> I don't know what ACS is. It's not like I had anybody on our side during this whole time in our relationship. It was never like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so I found a chick, whatever, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I mean, there were other chicks. I'm not like a other dude. I'm not saying I'm the most handsome dude either. But um, so, like, there were girls that just wanted to smash. So I'm like, shoot, you know what I'm saying? It's whatever. Mm-hmm. So we went. Open I remember we went to a Red Roof um, Did hotel. you record or something? No. I just oh, remember. you did it and came home like Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah that's so, exactly it. And Jesus is yeah. Lord. <laughs> and, so, yeah. and so she was like, nah, don't tell your wife yet, blah, blah, blah. I said, no, I did this for a purpose. Wow. You know what I'm saying? You, you, were, I, you, you, you were used used to I, 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 look, I, had, okay. I, had, I had my plan. Like, I had a place where I was already going to stay. My home where I said I could come stay with mm-hmm. him. Like, I had this planned out. And then... I came home later, she calling me, I'm like, dang, so yeah, I'm on my way, whatever, blah, 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 I'm at the uh, Walmart, so I get home, she got this look, but I'm not a good liar either, yeah. and I'm not going to lie to you, Yeah. and so, I just, like, after 30 minutes of being home, I was like, yo, I cheated on you. And, and I started laughing. Like, and she's like, because yeah, he's playing. a he's a jokester, like for mm-hmm. real. He's a major I was like, Man, quit playing. Where were you? And yeah. that's what I, I was really like, for real. I cheated And I honestly I wasn't upset. I really wasn't. I was yeah. like, Well, you know what? We both went we both came into this marriage under file. Oh well, you got some coochie. Keep moving. Oh, Let's go. So she threw that curveball in my oh, game plan. So she told wow. you. She, she, so she, yeah, she told me. I'll leave, but leave. then you did it. And then she was like, well, that she don't matter. Like, yeah. yeah. But then I was like, I was like, oh, yeah. wait a minute. I didn't yeah. know all this. Now, nah, nah, I'm going to do yeah. this on yeah. purpose. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> and so you can subscribe and share this. <laughs> and so I was like, hold on, wait a minute. I said, in my head, I'm like, she did not say what I expected her to say. Right. And I'm like, I'm still leaving. That's what exactly. I was like, like you I was like, F that, yo. I'm still leaving. And so I'm like, I'm gone. And so, you know, I had to try to be mad at her. So, the, so you know, it helped me push myself out the door. I won't but you know, I was like, 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 and so, no. you know, and we were split up for like good. six months. I thought you was real good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah. yeah. Real I, right. wasn't I, wasn't I had upset. no idea about none of that. Yeah. Nah, yeah. nobody did because we didn't share with nobody. Yeah. Well, we hey, this is the first right here. <laughs> it, is. it is. Subscribe. It's 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 right. 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 Yes. Yes. So look, y'all done had to leave, so 
Yeah. We can go ahead and say goodbye because you know. Right. You know Damn. Well, that's a question. Yeah. That's a question. Good. Good. You know, you know, because she, right. she said no, eight 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 we can hit seven. She said we can hit seven. No, I gotta be on. It's the video call at nine. Just let him ask you his one question. He can ask a question, but I. Nigga, I'm trying to have one more question. No, I got other questions, but I'm just saying. Y'all should just go ahead. I don't yeah, know her name. I appreciate it. She's going to hold it yeah, over my head. She was like, next time you do that thing, I'm going to slap you. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Well, I forgive you this time. I hate y'all got to go. Right, because that was a story right there. We definitely got to come back and do this. So we're going to do a part two. Please. Yes, yes. Part two. Definitely. Everybody gave their input on what the married life and everything, right? Okay. So. Yeah, what was you about to say? It's it's funny how her breaking point is the same breaking point for me. Mm-hmm. Before he even asked me to marry him, um, I made it very plain. Hey, if you ever step out on me, that's it. That's it. Mm-hmm. You you may as well have you know did the divorce papers before you wow. did it because it's 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 a wrap for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I just feel like that's the ultimate form of disrespect. That's just the way I am. Um, like I said, like you said, I'm a little bit of a fireball. Just yeah. a little poquito. Right. Just a little bit. I just think, I think, yeah, just yeah. poquito. I, you know, I don't think it's that much. I think it's much more, but yeah. I'll let you roll with that. I'll let you roll with that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, um, so I, I know that right there, that disrespect, that form of disrespect. Mm-hmm. I could take a lot, I think, but mm-hmm. that right there. Yeah. Yeah. So, on that. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm with you on that too. Mine is more. My husband has a child before me, and me and his his mother, his child's mother, we don't see eye to eye. So my thing is, if you ever went back to her, mm. that would be a real problem for me, because my thing is, you had time to do that before we got married. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. The fact that you chose me, mm-hmm. this is what you should be. You should mm-hmm. never turn back. Never. Because clearly, there was something else there if you do turn back. You know? Mm-hmm. So that's yeah. that's a big thing for me. Now, some, another woman, I mean, like they said, marriage, sometimes it gets boring. You know? And then maybe I might not be screwing you the way you want to be screwed. Or I might not be cooking the dinner the way you want me to cook it. Or I might not, you know, do something and then you... One time, not a repeated cheating, constantly thing, but if you, I can kind of understand that. Now, me personally, as a woman, I don't think I can ever do that. I'm very, when I have sex with someone, that means I want to be involved with you. I want more than Mm -hmm. just sex. Mm -hmm. For guys, I don't think it's like that for them. I think it's more of a bam, bam, get it done. It was nice seeing you. I'm out the door. So, I don't know. I mean, I would definitely that. feel some type of way if my husband stepped out, but I can understand it. And see, yeah. I, I can never understand it. Me either. Because I feel like you put so much work into being with this other person. It took you getting her number. It took you pursuing her. Mm-hmm. It took you maybe whining and dining her. And now you mm-hmm. found a way somehow or another to fall in between her legs. No, sir. Yeah, mm-hmm. we ain't doing that. No, sir. That's true. Yeah. No, sir. See, my thing that's is, if you did effort. all that, that's different. <laughs> I'm saying I guess. if, you know, <laughs> like, for instance, my husband is a truck driver. So, I can see him being out there in the streets and some random. Come, now, now, didn't pers- now, if you pursue it, that's a different. But just some random, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just... Mm. I, I just personally don't see how it can be random. Like, you just see somebody and be like, yo, what's up? Like, right. I, Women I can't can be see persistent. How, you just part, said they, they working. But if they are persistent. They but if they're working. persistent, that's not a random. Right. True. You know what I'm saying? True. So, at what point are you entertaining her? Right. True. At what point are y'all having these conversations about I'm how it's going to happen? You're not putting up no boundaries. I'm like, risking everything. Right. So, it's just like... Okay, what did you do your part? Right. True. Because right. if I mean, I'm I doing agree. my part, you do your part. That's I can right. agree. What so, part did yeah. you fail at? You failed right. somewhere. If you were allowed to fall into her legs, you failed somewhere. True. You need to check yourself and figure out where you failed at. But check that for the next one because I'm out. Right. right. And that also, I True. think, would almost make me feel like I failed as a woman, as a wife. Mm-mm. 
And I say that only because, like you said, if somebody, if I'm not screwing him the way he needs to, right. or I'm not cooking, like, we're going to have a conversation. What I need there to do, go, right. you know, or whatever. Right. But that's where communication is key. Exactly. True. If I'm, if I'm not doing something that you want to have done, you need to have a conversation with me before you even decide or think about stepping out into the streets. You know, it, it, that's what easier it said than done. Exactly. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step up for the men right now. Like I said, I am risking... And happy home <laughs> for probably two or three days. With this. Okay, but <clears throat> yes, you know, like communication is key, but also I think uh, it's easier said than done. You know, like I've been in situations, you know, with um, women, and you know, sometimes saying things. Can um, it's not just what it is. It's not, oh, you're not doing it the way I want it to be done. It's like I might can say that, but they're gonna take it some totally deeper. And so now you've scarred that person. Cause like imagine me coming to you like, yo, that was whack and I hate it and blah blah blah. Mm-mm. So you're not gonna come. To me. I'm about well, to say, no, out well, of respect, well, you're not gonna come in here like so, that. Right. So, in other words, I would have to sugarcoat it. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I was. No, I, no. Okay. What way? What way would I come though? It's not sugar. If you say that's whack, like who who just coming to anybody? I'm saying to we're talking like, that, like you know, like you know, it's a conversation, right? What, what I'm, I'm saying is whack, but I'm saying okay. Okay, you're not doing this correctly. Is that, okay. Is that yeah. Say that. Okay, Yo, but what I'd I'm saying, rather you blah 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 when you right, but it's this. I think it's also taken deeper, and so now it becomes a question of okay, maybe you can't get to the point where okay, what can I do to to make this better? But it also would be like, dang, like what 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 is he thinking when this is going on? What mm. you know, Mm-mm. you're taking it you know personal. I'm not saying that it's not personal, but what I'm saying is you're taking it more on yourself and almost like it hurts worse. You know what I'm saying? Maybe and I'm being naive. I think that as a married couple, we, we tend to marry our best friends. You said it. Mm-hmm. If Michael, I consider him my, my husband. Oh, I love him. Jersey Mike. Jerks. Jerks. <laughs> Is my very best friend. Mm-hmm. My very best friend. I can confide in him about anything at all. And do we sugarcoat some things? I wouldn't call it sugarcoat. I would call it respect. I'm not going to come at him and say, yo, <laughs> you need to step your game up. I don't know what you thought you were doing. <laughs> no. <Right. laughs> but I'm going to say to him, hey, babe, next time, can we try it like this versus like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's. That's communication. That's proper communication with somebody that you love and respect. Gotcha. Now, how would he take it if, let's say, three things mm-hmm. he's not doing correctly? Let's say okay. it, it doesn't have to all necessarily do with the bedroom. Let's okay. say some other okay. things, okay. right? So, let's say. Promise. Okay, here we go. Okay. Right now, currently, Michael works the night shift. Mm-hmm. I am by myself with our son all the time. Right. All the time. And so with that said, I'm forced to feel as though I'm a single parent. Mm. Unfortunately. Mm-hmm. But that's my life right now. Mm-hmm. And I could, like some disrespectful women would say, do better. Right. Because mm-hmm. they can do that. Mm-hmm. But I went to him. And I explained to him, hey, look, I feel like a single parent because you are not here. And when you are here, you are asleep. It's Mm -hmm. just me. I'm doing homework. I'm making sure he get to school. I'm making sure he got clothes. I'm making sure all these things, all the T's across, all the I's are dotted. Mm -hmm. And it's unfair because that's not what I signed up for. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. But that's communication. Mm-hmm. And like you said, it's outside the bedroom too. This It's an issue. It's a problem. Mm-hmm. Let's fix it. Unfortunately, right now, 
but is but it he able knows. to be fixed right now? It, is he able to do something because he's work? You know what I'm saying? Is it it's just work situational? Related. Right. His his comment to him working nights is is more money. Mm-hmm. It's more money. So basically, chuck it up as a loss. It's more money. We can either um, struggle mm-hmm. or. Not struggle. Mm-hmm. What you want to do? Mm-hmm. And, I, and you know, I don't want to change the subject, mm-hmm. right? But I also want to say, like, that's what happens with a lot of people, too, right? So mm-hmm. we see the one thing that we like, but we're not considering the cost of it all. So, like, you know, mm-hmm. some women are attracted to men with money. Men with power, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But then what happens is you get into a relationship, and he's always working. He's always on the go. So now you're like, well, why don't you be home more? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, like, and so what happens is there's a disconnect. He's like, I like this right here, but in order for us to have this, you can't have me too. So you have to have a balance. Mm-hmm. True. You True. know what I'm saying? Balance is, is key. Yeah, I I've never been a materialistic girl. Right, that's not me. I don't need the red bottoms. I don't need the labels. I don't need that. That's not who I am. Mm-hmm. I do, however, need a roof over my head. Right. Mm-hmm. I, I'm oh, I need a reliable car. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. But I feel like those things are necessities. Right. right. I don't need the extras. Mm-hmm. So if you working to provide. If you work a night shift to provide extras for me, you need to be at the house. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. That's because you're not doing it for me. I got you. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat with you, I guess I could say, but mine is a tad different. My my husband owns his business, so a year ago, I said I'm quitting my job. I hated my job anyway. <laughs> so I said, I'm, I'm quitting. I'm just going to stay home. I'll, I'll work for you. I'll take care of the kids. I'll do what I need to do. Mind you, I was already doing that on top of working. So I'm like, this is going to be what I normally do. This just gives me another five hours out of the day to not have to work. Mm-hmm. But now doing it, it's like, I can't breathe. I need somebody <laughs> to take something off this shoulder. Because right. it's like, and... And I tell him this, but I don't want him to feel as if, well, I, I, you know, this is, I got to work. This is my business. I have to go out there and do it. And I don't want him to feel like I don't appreciate you doing that because I love your drive. I love what you do. I never want to hinder or stop that. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you have a wife and three kids at home okay. that needs you sometimes. Mm-hmm. And it's not just you come home and sleep or watch the game. Right. I need you to be in my face a little bit or mm-hmm. not when you want some and you turn around in the bed. You mm-hmm. know, I need you to be in my face a little bit. Baby, you look nice mm-hmm. today. You look beautiful today. Um, right. Do you need me to go get the kids today? Do you want me to right. cook dinner today? Because I'm home right. today. Or, mm-hmm. you know, something. Just take something off my shoulder at least help. one day. You know, help. Help. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's so, that's that's the word I'm screaming. As so, loud okay. as I could possibly. <laughs> so are y'all willing? Are y'all willing to sacrifice though? I am. Like you know, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and work on daytime. You know, it's less money. Or well, I might have to work <laughs> extra. Take that. Here, you will take that. Mm-hmm. All right, okay. For for years, uh, when I met Michael, Michael was doing security. Oh. <laughs> I despise okay. <laughs> security yeah, because yeah. with security comes the fan club and the leeches and yeah. the, them ones that's lurking. They lurking. They lurking. Okay, y'all like to say men, women are lurking or they, men lurking. Abs- mm. oh, I see. don't think they're as bad everything as the women. Everything changes. <laughs> <Wait, don't. laughs> men are lurking. They are. I they are. I just don't think they're as bad or, or as aggressive a, as the are women you are. Men are lurking. They are. They are lurking. Yeah, they are. They are oh lurking. my lord! I, and I, I honestly have. We gonna keep it one hundred. No yeah, fluff. No fluff. They, they lurk. Sometimes just as hard as the men. Thank you. They do. They do. Thank you. I'm gonna keep it real. But 
It's all in how you handle them. Mm-hmm. If you give them an inch, they're going to take that mile. True. No different than any woman. Mm-hmm. You give her that inch, you leave that door cracked just a little bit. Right. She's going to kick it open. Like, hey, thank I you. Agree. Appreciate so, you. Yes. Yeah. So, bringing it back to how we originally came together, talking about Aisha. So, she made a comment about Steph being friendly. And how he's just naturally friendly and she has to watch because he doesn't notice or really know kind of like what's going on. Almost to say he's naive to these other mm-hmm. women mm-hmm. who are interested. So I feel like if like as women, we kind of are like more on guard. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, let me go ahead and nip this in the bud mm-hmm. if something is happening. Mm-hmm. But men, I feel like they don't always notice or feel as though a woman is being flirtatious mm-hmm. or, or really trying to get at him. I don't think they always know or try to act like they don't know. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, no, nah, she cool. You know, we, you know, she just, you know, being friendly or whatever. Right. And it's like, okay, you can't really think that she's just being friendly right you know and i think the difference between us is like we'll nip it in the bud and guys will entertain a woman Mm -hmm. thinking that it's innocent and it's not always innocent it's not i agree okay but or the intentions of the woman and that's what i mean i'm just saying i'm the man man. yeah the intentions of this woman Mm -hmm. most women that approach a married man Mm -hmm. well okay what are they approaching them with what are they approaching them with because, I mean, they're not flat out telling you that they, you know, okay, want to so sleep look, with you right. or something, you know. So, so right, let's go back. We go, okay. Okay. You know, she brought it that Aisha Carey thing, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, she was saying how Steph is friendly when fans and, you know, women come up and whatever, whatever. He communicates with them. Maybe he's naive. Okay. So, the man, she also said that she would like some of that attention too. Mm-hmm. Just to know, hey, she I'm doing something. It. I'm doing yeah. something right here. Mm-hmm. Right. There's nothing wrong with it. I agree. It's nothing wrong with that. No. No. So, a guy come to you. And but say, wait. The the reason for it, you got to understand the reason for it though. But what, what I'm saying to you, he's still hey, let, coming. Okay, let her he's still coming. Talk. He's still coming. You though. mean the reason why he's approaching women? Yeah, okay. even, even if he's not, you know, maybe let's say maybe it's just general, you know, like, hey, your hair is nice. Who is this? The outsider? Yeah, an outsider. <laughs> okay. What's wrong with that? But we're going to say thank nice? you and we're going to keep it moving. Exactly. Right. But y'all might sit there and continue to have a conversation with her. Oh, right. thank you. I think your hair is nice too. too. Oh, I like your sneakers or something. We you know what that nail color you. you got on? That's kind of cute. Right. So, in other words, y'all saying that someone give you a compliment. Thank you and keep it moving. Mm-hmm. Thank you and keep it moving. Mm-hmm. Thank you and keep it moving. Okay. Even Appreciate though, it. Let's, so, let's say it's not a random person. Let's say it's a person you work with. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, you work from home, so that's a little different. But let's say you're out. In the office Good old or, the, or, the, or the hospital, Good right? Talk. And someone you work with on a regular. Mm-hmm. They say, you know what? I like them colors on you. It looks nice. My husband mm-hmm. loved it. He picked it out. Appreciate it. Hmm. I don't know if I would go that far to be I, like my oh, husband. But yes. I'll just say thank you. I appreciate it. Depends. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you going to bring up the workplace? Okay. There is one. That I know for a fact. I hope you watch lurking. Yeah. <laughs> I know for a fact he lurking. She knows. I know it. He made it plain to me. He was lurking. So when he come to me with a compliment, okay. my husband. You hit him it. with the husband. Oh, you got, you got it. Yeah. Now. Yeah. See, but I that's, have to remind that's you. Just, I have to remind you. Already you that yeah. It's somebody I'm checking into at the mm-hmm. house. It's right. somebody that has full. Con- all this right here yep. belong to him. I have to remind you of there's somebody. Mm-hmm. I'm a Mrs. Cadet. I'm not no Miss no more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. So then you have to shut it down. You yeah. have to. And that's where I don't think men shut it down. No, right. 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 Because it's a, it's a stroke to the ego. Exactly. Of course. But isn't it a stroke to everyone? Yes, ego? it is. Okay, then. But we like, know, we we know when it's exactly. it. So you saying men don't know when it's going to stop? No. Like, no. They do. No. Come on.